with feeling. A few weeks ago, I had gone as part of the Jonti party from the groom's house in Pokhara to attend my best friend's wedding in Bardia, his bride's hometown. At Kudanna, where the ceremony took place, as with most weddings, there was a general feeling of conviviality all around, and everyone seemed to be in an exceedingly jolly mood. But the happiest person I encountered at the wedding was Mani Nepali, the Damaha drum player of the Ponte Baza troupe that had been hired to consecrate the ceremony. Through the wedding day, while we, the bride and groom's family and friends, made merry and helped a little with the marriage rituals, the troupe stood around or sat in a semicircle, weaving one strain of melody into the next. And leading them from song to song was Mani Nepali. For me, city bred through and through, the troupe's music drew me like a snake charmer's charm. Every time I would approach the troupe, I would find Mani Nepali dancing ecstatically at the center of the troupe's circle, his eyes closed as if he were marking the time for his drum by listening to his own heartbeat. Over the course of the wedding, I found myself talking to Mani Nepali whenever the musicians took a break. He's a rather laconic man who doesn't like to talk about himself. But from our conversations, I came to learn that he'd been playing the Dhammaha since he was 15. He is 65 now, and he has performed at countless weddings, noirans and death rituals. I asked him if he danced and played at other weddings with as much passion and costo as he was doing during my friend's wedding. He said yes, for it was his life's mission to transfer his positive energy to others through his music. When I decided to join my friend Stanti, I was hoping to become part of a wedding that felt very special. My friend's wedding was made special because the tone of the ceremony was set by the Ponte Baja troupe. At the heart of the troupe was the dancing, singing, energetic Mani Nepali. I felt blessed to observe him up close, working his magic. And I am sure there have been hundreds of other people who are grateful that the most important ceremonies, Nwarans, death ceremonies and weddings were blessed with his performance and presence.